But we begin with tragedy here at home on Christmas Day. Two children killed in an early morning house fire on Detroit's east side. Three other children and an adult were also rushed to the hospital. The fire happened at a home on Helen Street, not far from the intersection of Outer Drive and Van Dyke. Our Victor Williams is there live tonight. And Victor, is there any indication what may have started the fire? No, not right now. All of that is under investigation, but this is not the type of Christmas surprise you would want to have, especially on this day out of all of them. But this is what one family is going through. And as you can see behind me, the house, of course, was a total loss. That's just one of the many things this family is now going to have to unfortunately recover from. The family of Dylan and Demarion, ages six and seven, are still coming to terms with the sudden and untimely death of the two young boys following a house fire on Helen Street. It's very devastating for our family. Please just, just pray, please pray, pray for, for us. Just pray. Please pray so hard like you never prayed before. Police are still investigating what led to the fire. Dylan and Demarion were home with their mother and three other siblings when the flames broke out around 846 this morning. First responders quickly arrived to rescue as many children as they could. The mother, Damika, and her three other children were able to make it out with injuries. Dylan and Demarion were not able to escape in time. We're very grateful because it could have been all of them. Mm -hmm. We could have been grieving more, but it don't make it no better. The good news, at least, is that the other children are expected to be okay. But this is really one of the worst possible things that could have happened on Christmas Day. One of them have a third degree burn that we know of. The, um, the other one is uh, sedated right now. Uh, he looks pretty bad too. Now it took first responders less than 10 minutes to make it here on the scene. So as you guys can imagine, this did take a toll on the firefighters and medics that had to handle this situation. We'll hear more from them about what they had to go through coming up tonight at 11. But for now, we are reporting live tonight. Victor Williams, Local 4. Oh, your heart just breaks for those that family and those first responders. Thanks, Victor.